Southerners are natural storytellers. It's a tradition. I love Southern speech. I love the way it lilts and rises and falls. There's a beautiful musical rhythm to it. There's a creativity of metaphor that is very inspiring for a writer. I think I always knew I was a writer, although I think it was not until my early 20s when I got serious about it. I was writing essays, I was writing poetry, I was writing a few short stories, and one of them that I wrote, I showed to my future husband, and he said to me, oh, this would make a great novel. You know, you need to expand this, you need to explore this. And it was like a light bulb went off, and I said, yeah, I could write a novel. It just got me going for a taste for writing more, so I sat down and I did so. When I started this Southern Jewish experience type of novel with Home in the Morning and now with One More River, I wanted it to read as if it were an oral narrative, as if you were sitting in someone's living room or by the fireplace and someone was telling you this story. And it allowed me also to use different forms of speech that would not be correct in a traditional narrative. They say that you are what you do. You keep doing something enough and you can't stop. You keep honing that skill and you get better and better at it. You do it because it's your nature. You do it because it's what pleases you. The journey is more pleasing than the destination. <laughs>